Bless your little heart, Bonnie. I know you love your brother, baby, but you gotta let him breathe. You can't hug and kiss him all the time. Not all the time. Come on, John David. We are going to change your clothes. And Bonnie, I want you to come over here and play with your brothers and sisters over here. Add a girl. I know you love him. I know. Are you okay, baby? He's all right. See, I was just being loved on by my sister, Bonnie. Hi, everybody. Happy New Year. I'm so glad to see you here. I have come on today to do a 20 video of John David with his brother, Tommy, over in the UK at Suzanne's Babies. And uh, yeah, we're excited about doing that. But before I do that, um, since the last time that I have been with you guys, I got a few Christmas cards that I wanted to show you. This one is a beautiful white card with a gold dove. It says peace on it. And that is from uh, a very special friend, Alexandra Taylor Hughes. Thank you for that, Alexandra. And then this one comes from Selena Langford. God's love still shines bright. And uh, it's a beautiful picture of a snowy scene with a white church and bell steeple tower there. Very, very pretty. Thank you, Selena. And then we have um, uh, a pretty little, um, what do you call that? <clears throat> cardinal. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> pretty little cardinal. It says Mary and Bright, and that is from my dear friend Bertie. Um, I call her Bertie, but you know her as Melanie. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, uh, uh, Melanie, what is Melanie and the Sparrow's Nest? That's it, it's the Sparrow's Nest. And this is from Ratty and Birdie the Sparrows and Bonnie, her little dog. So thank you for that, Mel. And then we have, <clears throat> goodness, I don't know what happened to my throat. This beautiful Christmas card that says, Feel the Magic of Christmas. And it looks like it's 3D. Can you see that? I don't know what y'all are seeing. The sun is coming in so bright in this window that I cannot see on the video. But uh, anyway, it's a pretty little scene with a rocker chair and a lot of books and a nice um, sleeping dog there and a rug and pictures. And uh, it's from my dear friend, uh, Annetta, uh, from Belgium. You know her as Anna Mae's Lovely Place. And then a beautiful card of her babies, pictures of her babies and hers. So thank you for that, Annette. I really appreciate it. And uh, the reason I haven't been on very much, um, number one, I told y'all I was taking a bit of a break. I'm going to have to close these curtains a little bit. It's, it's too bright. So um, also um, thank you, Teddy, um, for um, alerting everyone to the fact that um, I had lost a member of my family. Um, it was my uncle, who is more like a brother to me. We're only three years apart in age, uh, and we sort of grew up together and kind of raised as brother and sister. My mother was his sister, and there were um, 19 years difference in their ages. See if you can see that. That is my uncle and and I, when we were kids, my uncle and me, excuse me, when we were kids. And uh, that's pretty much how we grew up. We loved each other very much. And his death was sudden and unexpected. Um, so I thank you, Teddy, for letting everybody know. And I wanted to thank you all for your condolences uh, for that. Um, that... I've got. I've heard from a lot of you, and it means more to me than you'll ever know. And I uh, even got a sympathy card from my sweet friend, Christy. So thank you so much. I appreciate all your prayers and all your concerns. It was a shock, um, but thank the Lord. Uh, he knew the Lord. I do too. And so we have that hope and assurance that we're going to see each other again. Now, as you can see... 
everything in here is as it was for Christmas. Um, everyone is still in their Christmas outfit. I still have a Christmas blanket here on the changing table. So we are going to have to get busy. Very busy. I have a ton of babies to change out of their Christmas outfits. I already did one. Um, I did it off camera, and that was my sweet little teddy um, that I recently got. He's my newest baby. He sleeps in my room with me. He has a bassinet in there, and he sleeps in my room. And he was a big comfort to me um, coming back from um, North Carolina. We made that trip. We left on Friday morning. We got back Sunday night, and we drove uh, 17 plus hours, I think, for us. And uh, Sunday night, or Sunday coming home, we drove it all in one day. Left at uh, 8 in the morning, got home at 11.30 that night. But it was a long, tough trip and a, not a pleasant thing to go through. But um, we'll see each other again. I'm confident of that. Now, let's get on with why we are here. Little John David still in his little Christmas outfit. You know, they all look so stinking cute. I really hate to change them. <laughs> but I know they need to be. And I'm going to be twinning him with uh, Tommy over at Suzanne's Babies. And we're putting on this little outfit that I sent uh, Tommy for Christmas. And it's this cute little blue, navy blue and white striped shirt with a light blue um, neckline and cuffs. Little snaps on the side, on the shoulder. And these little dungarees that are denim dungarees. They have a big white dog here. Uh, I guess it's a Scotty dog. Uh, and it has <laughs> a little furry face like he needs a shave. <laughs> um, I don't know what this thing is on him. Almost looks like a saddle. I don't know. I don't know what that is. It's not a pocket. Um, I don't know what it is. It wouldn't be a saddle because it's a small dog. But anyway, that it's part of the decoration. And it says Woof Woof here on the sides. And it has uh, navy and uh, off-white stripes on the cuffs. And uh, yeah, and a pocket on the side there. There's, a, there's his pocket. He has to have some place to put his frogs and snakes and lizards, don't you? And then we're going to be putting on these little shoes I also sent, which are navy blue. And uh, have a white um, leather strip around the bottom. And it says baby boy on the side. I hope you're all seeing this because I don't know why it's so dark. Okay, big boy. Boop, boop. Boop. There's his little, this is Callie the cow. We live in Texas, so he has his little cow with him. And so we're going to put that over there and get you changed. So I hope everyone's doing well. And uh, that you are got all the holidays behind you and ready to move forward. Did anybody make any New Year's resolutions? I didn't. I usually never do. Uh, I just don't, I, I, I mean, you always start out the new year with good intentions, don't you? Let's get you a pillow so I can lay you down here. Hang on. We start out with good intentions and then it sort of wavers <laughs> as time goes on. So let's get you down here, baby boy. Look a big one. Look a big one. Can you still see him? Yeah, sort of, kind of. So, um, yeah, I didn't make any. So if you made any. I hope you're doing well and sticking to your resolutions. Um, I haven't, I'm proud to say that I have not bought any babies this year. <laughs> yeah, what day is it? The 9th or the 10th? I don't even know anymore. No, I haven't bought any babies. I'm so proud of my tail. I haven't bought any babies. Not a one. No, but... And, you know, at this moment, I, I don't... I don't want any more babies. I don't need any more babies. Of course, I never have needed any babies, but I don't even have the desire right now. And I get all of these texts, you know, or emails, you know, on eBay and stuff like that, and babies listed on eBay, and I just... Delete, delete, delete. I don't even look at them. 
because that is where I get into trouble. That's where we get into trouble. And we don't want to get in trouble so early in the year, do we? No. Well, I have some news, a bit of news. My husband has been struggling for the past couple of years. Let's get this over your head, baby boy. On retiring. And so we've been praying about it. And uh, he finally was able to make that decision. And he has put in his notice. His, um, he's going to work out a month's notice. And then he will be officially retired. His last day is February the 8th. Yeah. So we're happy and excited for him. He's uh, 70 years old, and I think he's deserved it. He's worked hard all his life. He's worked for his country in the service, and then he's been um, a physician's associate for uh, a long, long time. And... Uh, I think he is deserving of a break. And, uh, yes, I'm happy about it. Uh, but there's also a little bit of trepidation. <laughs> uh, I'm not used to sharing every single day of my life with anybody else at this point, you know, during the day. Um, of course, at night, we, we come back together. But it's nice having that little time apart. You know, so being together 24-7 is going to be a bit of a challenge, I think, for both of us. So, we'll see. My goodness, boy, I think you need to be about three inches taller. You need to be about three inches taller. I get confused. I don't know about any of you. I know you guys that live in Europe and Australia and stuff probably don't in Canada, but um, I get confused with sizes that come in centimeters, like 80, 70, 60. I don't know what those are. I don't even know how to begin to, to think of what those are. So this is, I think it's an 80. I think it was, yes, 80. So I don't know what that translates to. I thought it might be about six to nine months, but it could be 12 months. I don't know. We go by months, not centimeters. So I get confused on that. So I'm sorry, Teddy, if this is way too big. It's still cute. It's still cute. I think probably what we could do is move those buttons up a little bit. What do you think? We could move the buttons up considerably a <laughs> couple inches <laughs> and make it fit better let's see if we can do that no, I might do that after a while or we could fold over the straps but that looks awful I think I'd rather move the buttons up maybe move the buttons up to here but it's all right it's okay well, we're going to wear it anyway because you know babies and they grow so fast. So he'll just grow into it, right? <laughs> You're going to grow into it, John David? Yeah, this is my sweet little John David, which is really um, a, a nickname. His name is Jonathan David. And Jonathan David is spelled J-O-N. Well, Jonathan is spelled J-O-N-A-T-H-A-N. And so when we shorten it to John David, we should just spell John J-O-N. Isn't that right, sweet boy? Is it that right? Well, I, got, I did write on the shoes. Shoes look pretty good. Shoes fit okay. There you go. There you go. How's that, big boy? Let's set you up now. Set you up. Is he with, I don't know if he's in range. We'll back him up a little bit. Is that better? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, so there he is in his big old big boy outfit. Aren't you going to say, hi, Tommy. Hi, Tommy. Did Bud kiss? Mwah. 
There we go. All right, so thank you so much, Teddy, for uh, agreeing to twin with us. Well, actually, she, she, know, <laughs> we were talking, she asked if I'd like to twin, and I'm like, oh, yeah, 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 I'd love to. So that's how we got together on that. Ah, oh, there we go. So thank you again for twinning with us. We love you. We love Tommy. And uh, I love all of you very much. Thank you for your love, your patience, your kindness. So we're going to sign off right now. And I'm just going to say, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord turn his face towards you and give you peace. I love you. You're special. Bye-bye.